Hey, what's up guys? It's Jelly Crown here, and today I'm gonna be reacting to some of my old digital drawings. Um, I started freshman year of high school with this art tablet I bought, and I used this program called Clip Studio Paint that I can't afford to buy, so I just use the free trial. So I just screenshot all the drawings when I'm done with them. So that's why some of them have dates on them because I worked on a Mac that would say like the date that I screenshotted them. And then some of them are just numbers because I screenshotted them on this um, Windows computer that I use now. My first year of drawing, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I started this YouTube channel in sophomore year. So that's why some of these like really old ones you probably haven't seen on this channel before or anything like that. But let me tell you, they're pretty bad. Okay, I've reached some of the uh, freshman year drawings. Also, this file is called My Digital Art and Manga because I was gonna do an illustration of this manga that I wanted to make. And you know what? I'd still make it if I had the time and money to make it, but yeah. Um, this was going to be the main character, let me move this over, uh, her name's Shinku, and as you can tell, her face was way too big for her neck, um, I couldn't color it in the lines, I still, I still have trouble with that now, I still struggle with that, but I go back and I make sure everything looks clean, um, but yeah, as you can tell, I couldn't make any straight looking lines. They all look sketched out and really badly done. I think my voice just cracked, which is great. I love that. Um, and her skin looks super pink. But yeah, I don't think I really have to explain to you what's all wrong with this picture. Also, she's supposed to be um, a tsundere, so that's why she's saying baka. Yep. <laughs> um, let's see here. All right, this one's gonna take a little bit of explaining, but this one. Oh, also, if you check up on the tops, most of these have dates on them, or some of them do. The ones I did in 2014 and early 2015 were ones I did freshman year, so you guys haven't seen them before. But this one was supposed to be another character from my manga, and he was supposed to be like this really nice guy that wanted to help everybody, and he like adopted, like he was a little bit like, I don't know, eight or ten years older than these main characters or some of the other main characters that would be in my manga because they had like some tragic backstory and they lost their family and then he like took them in and like adopted them basically. But anyway, in this picture though, he looks very scary. He looks like he's trying to like trick them with candy or something. The story was that he bought them snacks from the gas station or something. I don't know. But he wasn't supposed to look like a creepy pedophile. But I'm well aware he does look like a creepy pedophile. And again, the shading's awful. Yeah, I really don't have to explain to you uh, all the issues because you can, you can tell um, my drawings really sucked. Christmas 2014, again, it was supposed to be all my manga characters. I promise I'll get into like these other drawings that I had that did, don't involve the same general looking people that I made for my manga. Um, but this was supposed to be a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays picture um, that was for my old art Instagram page. His arm is too short for his body. Same here. What's this neck with his head? His head's too flat, his neck is still wonky looking, and the shoulders, pretty bad. And then, she still looks kinda creepy. You know, with those really big red eyes and that really circular face. Oh man, my side profiles, I, re I just remembered something, okay. So, I still struggle with side profiles, but I used to be so bad at them. Look at, the, look at how flat it is. Like, I did such a bad job. Oh man. Her eye is really huge, by the way, and just, she looks like, she was supposed to be, you know, giving that nice, warm little grin, you know? It's, it's Christmas time, it's holiday season, family and stuff. 
but she ended up looking really creepy. And I wanted to do a fire in the back, which looks bad, but it isn't the worst. And I, hold on, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think I drew his uh, hand backwards, but I'm pretty sure I did because his thumb should be at the, the top because it's supposed to be his right arm. Yeah, it's supposed to be his right hand. So, I don't know. I was really bad at hands. So usually I catch on to that and like fix it before it's too late, but I guess I didn't back then. This was one of the very first drawings uh, that I did. I'd say one of the very first 10 drawings that I did, um, digital art wise. And yeah, let's just, I thought the checkered background would look really cool with her since she has this whole magician vibe. So I learned that if you deleted the first layer, there was a layer underneath that was just checkered and for some reason I thought that would be a good idea. And as you can tell, you can see the checkers from behind her skin and her hair because I had this really bad habit where I would lower the opacity of a color to be like what color I would want but then I would forget to actually use the actual color instead of making it kind of see-through. So the background would always blend into the actual drawing itself. Um, which is also why whenever I do a sketch now, before I do the... No, whenever I'm done doing the line art, I always put this layer at the very bottom that's like a light, like a grayish blue or some like weird color. So I can remind myself not to make everything see-through because I had a really bad habit of that because if I see that the color doesn't look right because of the background, I'm going to remember, oh hey, yeah, I shouldn't make it see-through. I should actually put the actual color I want instead. Um, so if you have that bad habit, there's some advice. Always have some random color as your background until you're done and ready to actually do the background. I really liked her at the time actually. Um, I remember during the first year, my computer would randomly restart, and like I said, I can't save because I'm too broke to buy the actual uh, program. So I would just have to redraw it again, <laughs> make another sketch and redraw it, which really upset me because like I would spend hours, like I still spend hours drawing, um, doing a drawing, like 13, uh, 12 hours if you include, if I do the sketch, like the time just coming up with the idea, and then the time like finishing it then it's like 13 hours although for my speed art recordings I usually skip the sketch part because that usually takes me a while sometimes I have that little artist block and I really need to go and mess around until I find something I really want to do um, or something that just looks cool so I don't feel like bothering and boring people with that it's really bad though she was she was really cute at the time but now this is really messy. Again, I didn't know how to shade or color. And, uh, yeah, just really bad. Really, really bad. She was like an OC I made. She was supposed to be like half demon, half angel. I don't know, something along that lines. Mysterious, but cool, you know? Um, which is why I gave her like the horns and like the red eye, but she also has the halo. And the other eye that she has is supposed to be like this really bright yellow, which I eventually did give her a name, and that speed art is on my channel. Oh, this was one of the first speed arts that I did for my channel, actually. It was supposed to be a little altered version of Snow White. As you can tell, um, recently I've really been trying to get into shading and lighting, and she was supposed to be out in the field eating an apple at night but she doesn't seem to be affected by nighttime at all I wanted to do a little twist on her it's not bad the shading's not the worst thing the coloring's not that bad but I'd say I, imp I improved um, I also used to give all the characters like these really big eyes which I've tried to toned down so they don't look as creepy because I realize they kind of look creepy and as you can tell her face still looks kind of circular but the proportions are at least better this was part of my manga that I drew in freshman year 
I did, I wanted to do like one, one little picture of it and see how long it would take me. And if it didn't take me long, I wanted to turn my manga all into like a digital version of it. Um, as you can see, her name, this is, this is Shinku. She was like the main character. Um, and she was supposed to like lose her family in this tragedy. I don't know why my voice is cracking, but she was supposed to lose her family in a tragedy and this was it. So I don't know if this speed art is still up or not, but yeah, I just wanted to do this really heartbroken girl. The shading's not that bad. I like that I didn't make her eyes all scary looking because they weren't huge and oversized. And the proportions were not completely off, so good job me. And I tried to do uh, some scenery. And also, if you if you get it, it's a jar of hearts. You know, she has a broken heart, so the jar broke. Um, although most of you guys probably caught on to that. Mm. Let's see here. Oh, this one. Okay. If if you see the little animation that plays before I do like a gameplay video, um, I think I still added onto my Sims videos on some of them. I'm pretty sure, but I I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I add it in, sometimes I don't, depending on what I'm playing or what I'm making. Um, but I actually made this. It was really hard because I didn't make it with an actual animation thing. I made it with the drawing program and I made her as the main drawing and then I added those other... Oh, actually no. I made a speed art on this. So you can you can watch how I made it. Uh, I think it's still up so I don't really need to explain it. But point is, she was the main picture, right? The main drawing I did and the other ones were other drawings I also did but I would click on different tabs to make them look like they're moving around because I would drag them to different positions on each different um, layer. And then I would click on different ones and make some of them invisible. And then I'd edit it in so it looked like it was being animated. Not that, it doesn't look like a very good animation, but it's just like kind of moving around. So yeah, I spent a good long time trying to figure out how to do that though. So I'm still using it. Um, oh, also that was when I was still in my um, like Minecraft phase, I guess. That was my Minecraft skin. So I just kind of made her look like that. I think I made this two years ago, like summer two years ago. And it actually looks pretty good. Uh, the shading could have been better because she's in the, she's in the ocean. So this should have been darker and everything. But I do applaud myself on, on the water because I find it really hard to do paintings with water on it because it always looks bad if I try to do it. Um, and it's still really hard to like do any picture where there's water in the background. So yeah, I'm glad that looked nice. And her outfit looks pretty cool. I'd like to say I got the, the flowy physics of water right oh and this is a drawing that i did for phil um amazing phil i did this last year yeah i'm pretty i'm pretty proud because if we can let me click on another one oh this was um my very first i think it was my very first uh digital drawing of a guy so I'd like to say that I've improved. Um, his jaw isn't completely pointy and could probably cut some paper. And the shading is of course improved. And then this one was the piece I made for Cupquake. Um, because she's like, she's my icon, you know, she's like my role model. Uh, and she's helped me through like a lot of hard times. Her videos have always cheered me up and helped me. So every year I do like a drawing of her to, I guess, give my thanks. So yeah, I wanted to do a speed art on this, what was that, 2016, two years ago? So 
yeah, it like, it blew up though, but um, most of you guys probably already know the story. Cause my channel was, my channel was like 11 subscribers before she like saw my video and then put it in one of her videos. It was insane. Um, maybe one day I'll make a video talking about that experience, but I don't know. Uh, either way, you know, she's an icon. She's a role model. She's great, and you should go check out her channel. Uh, her name's Ayas Cupquake. So, yeah. She does a bunch of, like, video games and random stuff like baking and art. Um, she, has a, she had another channel called Tiffy Quake where it was just a bunch of, like, art and lookbooks and all this, like, cool stuff that she's interested in interested in so um you should you should check out on you should check out that channel and then of course you have some of my newer ones like this one this happened because i got kind of bored of my usual art style that i did because i usually aimed for like a really cute vibe but i got really bored of doing a bunch of like really cute drawings because i felt like I've done that a billion times before. Um, so anyway, I wanted to do a zombie with like a lot of blood and stuff. I even added in little maggots because she was like getting infected. But I wanted to still make her look kind of cool looking. So yeah, I'm still insanely proud of this drawing. Like I'd say earlier last summer, I wanted to go and explore different styles, different techniques, different looks and see what sticks and I thought hey maybe I should do those drawings that look you know pretty realistic but they're obviously still surrealistic you know like surrealistic art style because I follow a couple artists who make that type of art and I like I always wanted to do it I was like it couldn't be that hard right okay wrong this looks really bad this looks super bad I don't know how they do it because this looks trash and I decided oh hey this probably isn't the art style for me because it took me way too long I enjoyed it for the first three hours and then the rest of the hours I had to finish it I really hated it I really hated the process of it but I was like I gotta see it through so yeah I any artist that can do that has my respect like surrealistic digital art dang I wish I could do that. This one was a speed art I did of Daenerys Targaryen because why wouldn't I? She is the best person in Game of Thrones. Um, but yeah, after I finished it, I like I liked it, but I didn't. It didn't reach like my ideals, I guess. Because I wanted to make it, I wanted to see if I could somehow combine, um, like, her actual looks in the show with, like, the anime look and still have it so you could tell who she is and everything. But I don't think it was close enough or you could tell it's supposed to be Daenerys Targaryen. And the shading obviously isn't that good. I should have probably put some, like, flames in front of her. You know, because she doesn't burn in fire anyway. So, I probably should have made it a lot more detailed and realistic in terms of, like, situations and coloring and stuff. So, Game of Thrones is going to end next year. I'm probably going to try and do another speed art of her next year or, like, the end of this year. Something like that. Because, like, I need to make another tribute drawing, like, for her. Um that hopefully turns out better. This was a drawing that I did freshman year. Uh, this is like near, this is the second semester uh, freshman year. I was like, you know, I'm not total crap at drawing anymore. What a lie though, like this, this is still pretty bad. Again, the shading and the, well, the lines weren't as messy now, but I still didn't go in and make sure everything was clean. So, yeah, but this is supposed to be like a little extra thing I would send to people who would um, buy commission for me. Like I would get them a little drawing or something, a little extra something to say thank you. The first version of this drawing I actually did as a traditional drawing, so I showed it in the other video. And this was the digital version of it. I thought I could draw it way better 
um, digitally than I did in that old one. This is my first, I'd say, successful looking anime guy. Um, proportions still, you know, kind of off. He's, he's like a little scrawny looking, but it's fine. At least his jaw isn't sharp enough to cut his book. His fingers look super scrawny and I wouldn't be surprised. Hold up. It is backwards. His hands are backwards. Is that one backwards? I don't think that one is backwards, but um, the one holding the book is. Uh, but look, his hair. It has shading. It has layers so it doesn't look flat or round. I did a good job um, with that at least. I had this OC character that, I mean OC means original character, that I made freshman year. I wanted to make her look like a queen or like a princess. Maybe not quite a queen level yet, but like really up there. And she was supposed to be like really serious and kind of kind of like cruel but not like an evil queen but like an evil princess cuz yeah and I wanted to make her look pretty cool so I gave her the kind of edgy looking outfit and I gave her like the cool looking hair and everything and obviously she looks mad um, but yeah I also drew her like every year I don't know I don't think I drew her last year though um, I don't know but this was one I drew two years ago. Um, I think the speed art's still up. I might be wrong. But outside from her eye looking, her two eyes looking a little far apart for her face, it's not bad. Like the shading, okay, the shading on the chair is pretty bad. I could have done way better shading. I don't know what I was doing, clearly. I sometimes still don't. Um, the shading's kind of bad. Her hair looked really good, though. But, yeah, like, she, in general, looks pretty good. But the chair looks pretty bad. And some of the shading, like, on her skirt and this little teacup, it's okay, but it's not that good. This is commission I did for a friend. Uh three years ago because it says 2015 um, but yeah it was supposed to be light from Death Note yeah I drew this before I actually watched the anime by the way which um if you have seen it or if you haven't seen it I'm just gonna say it. the show the anime was really good it was pretty good but the ending was trash. That's all I'm saying. The ending was trash. Um, okay, this one I was really proud of. I should probably redo. Because look at all this color. She was supposed to be like a witch slash like wizard. So I wanted to look, her to look magical looking. Um, I still actually kind of like her. Even though it's not my best drawing. It's not my best drawing obviously. But at the time I think this was right before sophomore year began. At the time, this was really good for me. And I think this would look really good if I redraw if I redrew it. Um, this was a drawing I did for this competition that was on Instagram. It was like it was supposed to be zodiac characters, but as or zo the zodiac, like your zodiac, but as anime characters, obviously, or just anime. Um, so I'm a cancer, so I made a cancer, you know, I made her into a cute little crab girl. Um, the proportions, as you can tell, are really off because her legs look really stubby. And the shading is really bad. Because I'm pretty sure I did that thing where I did a darker green on a lighter green. Which doesn't make the best shading. As you can tell, she's not well shaded. I think I had this idea that nobody colored her an like their anime characters so their skin would originally just be white just like blank no light peach color whatsoever and that would just put some pink on it and be like done that's skin but that's not how it works she's cute but badly drawn so I'd also like to redo her I'd like to redo a couple of these drawings actually but yeah I didn't win that competition I know what a shocker, man. Maybe one day I'll make part two of this. 
uh, once I accumulate more drawings. I still have a lot that I haven't shown, but I'll probably wait till I make another one of these. I don't know. And maybe I'll make a little how-to or tip video um, about this. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if anything in this video has taught you something, it is that, hey, you don't have to be good at digital drawing. It's fine. Everyone starts out like crap, okay? So you're going to get better. Don't worry about it. Just put in the time, you know, put in the effort. You got to practice. Eventually you'll get used to it and you'll know what to do and how to shade stuff. It just takes time and don't give up. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.